are you doing if you don't know who your girl is right here I'm Lenny Lynn and I'm back with a new video today and I want to talk to y'all about narrowing down there y'all already done read the title so y'all already knew what to expect once y'all clicked on this video you know but let's talk about it so here is the Nair bikini cream I didn't already did like a review kind of sorta <laughs> on a Nair face cream that I absolutely adore I cannot go like a few weeks without using it because you know I don't want to be a little Chewbacca but it is this is the box that it also comes in really cute packaging isn't it and this is what it looks like you know when you yeah y'all get it y'all get it I'm very sure y'all get it but anywho enough of that I just want y'all to know that this bikini cream is for is a sensitive formula and it works on delicate areas it's supposed to avoid you know you having those ingrown hairs those nicks those cuts and those bumps from the razors now i want y'all to know if you are a female to wear you keep a little bushy bush down there then and you want to like go over to the you know really smooth side of just having no hair down there you know bearing it all out y'all i want you to know that first things first you're gonna have to exfoliate and before you even use this please exfoliate i just recommend what i do is i use the luann coconut oil and this is what it looks like you can get it from any grocery store around your area coconut oil organic coconut oil and i want y'all to know already that coconut oil is really great for that area down there unless you're allergic to it don't quote me on this but you can use coconut oil down there for exfoliant and it's going to actually soften any hairs, any stubble you may have down there before you get into either trimming, if you have like, you know, a whole lot down there, you know, a whole lot of pubic pube. And also before shaving, this is the first thing, first step you want to get out the way, just moisturizing that hair, moisturizing that skin down there and getting everything just soft and ready for, um, the hair removal action so this is going to be something to wear you know using that coconut oil just leave it on there for like two to three minutes and let let all that little hair stubble soften up so you can get ready for the next step if you have a little fuzzy fuzz down there a little pubic pube you want to trim it off especially if it's like at least growing out like half an inch and all of that stuff just trim it off unless you do like a little um you know sign symbol or whatever you may have down there you know just trim around it do whatever you have to do and then if it's a lot like i'm talking about like a little jungle of pubes you want to make sure that you also do a subtle shave not nothing to wear it's going to be like oh god i don't even need to use this no i don't even need to use this no you want to do a shape to where it's really subtle probably like one 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 pass or two passes you know the first up and the first down pass but not to where it's a clean shave at all and once you finish doing that rinse it off pat it dry and then go in with your nair bikini cream and that way you will have a really nice foundation down there like everything will be perfect you will have really flawless like oh my god did you get a waxing down there uh vagina and that's what you probably won't want since you're watching this video if that's what you want to go for go for it but i want to stress this because i haven't really seen so many girls on youtube talk about this please do not use this nair between your lips down there you don't want to do that i'm telling you this because that can actually throw off throw off the ph balance in your vagina and you don't want that because once that ph balance gets thrown off you can get like a uti you can get a yeast infection you don't want any of that you can get a whole bunch of just burning sensations down there you don't want it i'm you letting y'all know don't it. go all crazy putting this near bikini cream all around your clit and all that calm yourself down it's not that serious it's not and it feels so much better than going get a waxing and all of that stuff you know if you're just someone who is just too ocd then please don't go heavy-handed and don't go crazy with this nair bikini cream i just want to stress that because i know there's a lot of girls out there who strive for perfection when it's when it comes down to that vagina area and i just want y'all to know all the hair will not seriously be completely gone you know if if you know you just want me to tell you i'm gonna tell you 
it's best to just use this, you know, whenever you have a little stubble coming back. Don't wait for your hair to get buku thick and buku just matted, whatever the case may be, and then want to use this. Please don't, because you're going to be like, it don't work. It don't work. It don't and then you're going to be it trying to do work. two, three applications, and you see how small this little packaging is. You ain't going to even match. You're going to be like, what? I, what? I spent $5 on it. You're going to be going off. And whoever you're going off to is not going to want to listen to you because you waste their time talking and complaining when you could have just took my advice from it. But also, I do want to stress, don't use this cream in your anal area. It's not for the for the anal area. Don't. don't. Bryson Tiller said it best. Don't, 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 don't. Please, don't. Like, I'm just trying to save y'all trips to the gynecologist. I'm trying to save y'all some coins. I am trying to just save you from having burning sensations and all of that other stuff. You know, whatever you have, you get the hair from back there in the anal area, please. Don't refer yourself to this back there because you're going to be like, no. Just don't just don't go even go try. For what you know, if you shave back there, hopefully you do. Shave back there or you go and get a waxer because you're bold and beautiful. Go for it. Just go, go for, for it. it. Now, I also want y'all to know after I finish using this, um, I leave it on for like what seven minutes because you don't want to go past 10 that's why you don't supposed to have a big old bushy bush down there big old patch not even judging nobody if you would like to have a little you know triangle and all that down there whatever that's you go for what you know that's girl you okay but i just want y'all to know please after you finish using this let me jump back to what i was saying after you finish using this uh rinse it off get in the shower or, you know if you do it in the shower, it's really going to be messy because it's going to get all over you. Y'all, do it before you hop in the shower so it could be just easier for the hair to come off and all of that. Because the steam from the shower is just going to, like, you know, help open up, you know, the hair follicles down there and make it just easier just to slide on down. So, that's what I just want y'all to know. After you hop out the shower from, you know, taking it all off with the warm rag or whatever you do... If you're doing a little bird bath, whatever, I'm not judging, boo, I'm not judging. Uh, you want to use, again, another exfoliant. And I will go back for the coconut oil, organic coconut oil, and just, you know, put it down there and wipe it away. You don't want to have a big old greasy, greasy oily cat. No, you really don't. We all grown here. You don't want to grease a vagina. We grown. Let's talk. So... That's what I want y'all to know. And that's just going to leave you really, really soft down there. And it's just going to keep you from having any type of burns if you got to put your drawers back on. If you don't even like to wear drawers or thongs or whatever the case may be, I'm letting y'all know it's perfect for before you go see your boo. You know, set aside some time before you be in the bed with your hubby or your girlfriend. Y'all, I'm going to get y'all right. I'm going to get y'all right. And if you a husband, you a boyfriend, you a girlfriend watching this video, let your spouse know. Get some of this in their life and this will save them some coins when going and get a waxing. And it will also save them some coins with, you know, trying to find all kind of remedies to getting their hair from down there. But anywho, it's your girl, Lenny Lynn here, and I'm out. Uh, some people probably found this video TMI, but... I'm just happy I delivered it and probably saved someone from, you know, just being just depressed from down there. So don't use that narrow leg cream on your vagina. Please don't tell a friend, tell a, a sister, a cousin, or whoever who's doing it. Please don't. Save your steps. Tell them to save themselves some trips from to the gynecologist and have the gynecologist looking at them like, now you know better. So... Anywho, it's your girl, Lenny Lynn. I'm out of here. I hope you thumbs up this video. Yes. And I are, uh, and I all talk is so fast. I need to stop it. And I also hope that you subscribe to my channel. I have new videos coming out every single week. Okay? Yes. So, uh, hopefully you have a blessed day, a blessed night whenever you're watching this video. And take care. Bye.